So hi guys, welcome back to the Rive. Again, I'm Engineer HB, and we're going to answer a uh, passport exam problems for uh, still sa machine design. And andito parin tayo sa Chapter Seven for threaded members. Pero ngayon ang di discuss natin ay tungkol sa power screws. So yung nakaraang Chapter Seven is for uh, threaded members parin. Pero bolts yung di discuss natin. So today we're going to answer those board exam problems sample for power screws. So let us start this. Okay, so ang nakagawian, bago tayo mag-proceed sa questions, now we're going to review some of the formulas that we're going to use on answering the passboard problems. So this is a profile of a power screw. So ito yung power screw mo na nagro-rotate at a end screw or a angular speed, which is itong W over 2. So W stands for axial load of screw o yung sinusupport niyang axial load. And this P, of course, yung pitch, no? o kaya yung distance no? uh, between uh, adjacent part of this. And this letter L uh, is equal to lead. So your lead or our lead will uh, depend on the problem. If the problem stated that it, uh, pag sinabing single threaded, so L is equal to P. Ibig sabihin, 1 times P. So, pag sabihin double threaded, magiging 2 times P. And kapag triple threaded, 3 times P. And so on and so forth. So, of course, this letter N, subscrew, our angular speed, and this V load, or uh, velocity ng load, is a linear velocity of the load attached to the nut. So, uh, tinutukoy nito yung bilis ng load na naka-attach sa nut. So, this is the lead angle. So, lead angle, parang ayan yan. So, that, uh, that's our lead angle. Of course, this four diameter. So, we have four diameters that we're going to meet at this power screw ng topic. So, we have this D sub R. That's the root diameter. And D sub O is the major diameter or yung pinaka-outside. And DM is your mean diameter. So mean diameter is just the average of the major and the root diameter. So we have this DC, our color diameter. So sometimes a problem mo lang colors. And minsan naman, syempre, meron. And this H is the tooth depth. Or yung lapad netong nakalawit na thread. So parang yan yun. So that was the H. All right. Okay, uh, ito pala yung H. No? Di drawing ko pa. So that was the two steps. So I'm going to show a simple uh, basic formulas for these four diameters. Since the average mean diameter or average or mean diameter is the average of uh, the outside and the root diameter, our mean diameter is also equal to outside diameter minus H. So in my drawing, hindi masyadong kita no yung mga pinag uh, kaiba ng mga diameter kasi dikit-dikit siya masyado pero of course our color diameter is the diameter of this color outside diameter is yung pinaka uh, outside kasama yung dalawang ngipin so if this is your root diameter so dagdagan mo lang ng dalawang h so that was your outside diameter so parang mangyayari, root diameter plus h. Pero itutukoy naman natin kasi dito is mean diameter. Of course, as I said earlier, your outside diameter is root diameter plus dalawang uh, tooth depth. So that was plus 2h. So if you're going to combine or derive one of these equations, so you're going to arrive on this. So that was the equivalent of mean diameter, the average of outside and radius the difference of the outside and the tooth depth, and the sum of the root diameter plus H. So, sige na nga, pakita ko na ito. So, DM is equal to DO minus H is equal to DR plus H. So, of course, equivalent yan dalawang yan. So, that was uh, DO is equal to DR. So, transpose yung isang H doon. So, that will become plus 2H. So, ibig sabihin, your outside diameter is the root diameter plus twice nung tooth depth. 
of course, ang pinakalamalabas lagi sa mga questions ay yung mean diameter and outside. So, bihira naman si root diameter at si root depth. Pero, syempre, kailangan pa rin nating malaman yung concept. So, that was for the profile of the power screw. Review lang din naman. And lahat naman tayo may idea na doon. So, uh, this, one of the, uh, this uh, slide is one of the important that we need to remember in discussing this topic. So, we have this common thread form statlo. We have the seller's square thread. So, square thread na lang. Tandaan nyo. So, the tooth depth as an equivalent of 7 over 16 times the pitch. So, for the trapezoidal thread, so, ito kasi yung profile niya, yung pinaka-thread niya is square. Ito namang second is trapezoidal, as you can see. And the equivalent tooth depth is equal to one half of the pitch or kalahati ng pitch. And meron tayong tinatawag na... Uh, angle no para sa ating power screw thread uh, which is equivalent to 14.5 pag sinabing acme and 15 degrees naman for trapezoidal metric thread of course sa mga problem it was stated and we have this third common thread uh, form which is the buttress thread so the equivalent of tooth depth is 0.633 times pitch and kung lalabas naman yung tanong sa terminologies so we, it has a profile no kagaya nito of 45 degrees. So ito naman yung buttress, yung ganto yung ngipin niya. Okay, so we have this uh inclined inclined plane diagram of a loaded screw. So parang pinapakita lang diyan yung pinaka uh sinasalo niyang weight and yung mga papakita kong formulas was derived from this uh, diagram. So we have this tangent, lambda is equal to L over pi dm. Of course, our lambda is the lead angle. And syempre, ito ang ating mean diameter. Of course, ito yung lead. And it will depend kapag single, double, or triple threaded ang binanggit. And of course, meron pa tayong pangalawang angle, which is what? The friction angle. So the beta is the friction angle. And the F is the coefficient of friction. So if the question is looking for friction angle, basta given tong coefficient of friction, just uh, arc tangent mo lang. So maalala, uh, makukuha mo na si friction angle. So this is your friction angle and this is your lead angle. Of course, this is the lead. So ayan, meron naman tayong TR. So TR, what is this TR? So that is the torque needed to raise the load. So that's why dito sa inclined plane diagram may load siya. So ano daw yung torque na kailangan para maiangat siya? So this is the TR is equal to WDM over 2 times tangent beta plus lambda. So in order for us to memorize this or understand it no, ng madali, we all know that torque is equal to force times radius. And yung force dito sa... Uh, setup na to or power screw is of course our weight which is W way back on the first slide and our radius of course it is diameter over 2 so ang diameter natin is your mean diameter of course divide 2 so ito siya syempre times mo lang siya ng factor na nakaka-apekto sa kanya and that was the beta and the lambda so times tangent of the sum of beta plus lambda okay so of course syempre that is Newton, so this is mm, and kapag pounds to, maaring foot to or inches. So that was the torque needed to raise the load. And syempre, we uh, way back on the trigonometric equivalent, so I will not discuss the derivation na lang, pero it has also an equivalent of WDM over 2, hindi naman yan mawala, kasi nga derive yan sa force times radius, times F plus tangent alpha over 1 minus F tangent alpha. And that was equivalent also to this one. So, kung ano lang trick mo gamitin, pero I, I, I advise na ito na lang para mas maikse. Okay, so dito yung tangent beta na to. As you can see, may lambda pa rin dito, which is tangent lambda. Pero yung beta na ito kasi ay na-derive din dito. Okay. And of course, kapag meron, kanibawa man ang tanong is a trapezoidal metric thread, Siyempre, meron siyang profile angle no, na tiyatawag. Yung ganun, way ba kanina sa formula. 
which is yung 14.5 sa ACME and 15 degrees for trapezoidal metric thread. So the torque needed to raise the load, that was that the formula. So in order for us to quickly memorize this one or understand this, so syempre nandyan pa rin yung presence ni W and DM over 2. So just memorize this one and just put cosine angle here. So ayan, nandyan pa rin si tangent lambda. And just replace this one by cosine angle ulit. So, parang same na same lang siya. Maglalagay ka lang ng cosine dito sa katabi ng angle na to. And cosine ng angle na to, palitan mo lang yung sa denominator. So, I'm going to erase this one. Baka mag-screenshot kayo <laughs> at maidikit nyo. Okay. So, of course, we have this torque required to overcome collar friction. That's why we have a collar drawing on the first slide. So, that was TC is equal to WDC times FC. So, of course, yung WDM kanina laging present. So, ngayon naman, WDC, which DC represents the collar diameter. So, ang pinag-uusapan kasi dito is collar. Kaya, yan yung DC. Of course, torque is force times radius lagi or force times diameter over 2. So, parta mo lang ng weight yan. So, that was the normal torque times the coefficient of friction ng collar. So, laging given yan. And we have also this total torque input of the screw. So, it is basically the sum of the torque needed to raise the load and this torque required to overcome the collar friction. And of course, we have this TO, which means torque required to raise the load but neglecting the effect of thread friction. So, how about this one? So, in order for you to understand this one, we all know that the formula for the TR or raise the load is WDM over 2. Of course, hindi naman laging, ah, hindi laging mawawala yung WDM over 2 na yan. Times tangent beta plus gamma. But this TO is the torque required to raise the load but neglecting the effect of thread friction. And we all know that the thread friction is our beta. So if you're going to cancel this out, ang matitira na lang is tangent of lambda. Of course, uh, we have this PL which is torque needed to lower the load. So kung si TR dito is plus, ito naman minus lang. So ganun lang naman, kasimple. So ayan, napakilala natin lahat ng torque. Madali lang naman tandaan. Basta laging may WDM over 2 or WDC over 2 kapag usapang collar friction. And the rest is factor-factor na lang. That's why iniisa-isa ko yung mga formulas in order for us not to memorize only but also to understand where this came from. So ayan, hindi ko masyadong natanggal yung mga animation dito, no? <laughs> or naayos. So, ayan, isa isa na lang natin. So we have this efficiency of screw alone. So that was the ratio of the TO over TR. So in short, that was the tangent lambda over tangent beta plus lambda. O kung gusto mo mas komplikado, we have this tangent lambda times 1 minus F tangent lambda over F plus tangent lambda. So, my advice is just use this one para mas madali. Ayan. So, meron din tayong, kung may efficiency of screw lang or screw alone, meron din tayong efficiency of screw and collar. So, if this is screw, of course, efficiency of screw and collar ay meron din. So, that was the ratio of TO over T total. Kung si screw alone is TO over TR only, dito naman is TO over TR plus TC. That's why it is called efficiency of screw and this color. Of course, kung ano yung sagot niyan, times natin na 100%. And how about this power input na hindi ko na-animate yung effect? <laughs> so we have this power input of screw. So that was is equal to torque times N screw. So kagaya naman nakakaraan nating uh, topic, lagi namang involved si torque and shop speed or speed rather. And syempre kung involved si torque at speed, maroon tayong constant which is 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 para sa metric. At yung constant na to ay 63,025 para naman sa English. Of course, if we have this power input which is equal to torque total times uh, N screw or speed ng screw. So ano nga pala, hindi ko lang lagay kanina sa ibang slide. Uh, equal din si speed ng load 
is equal to lead times n square. In case lang na may, ma-meet tayo mamaya or sa board exam nyo na, uh, kailangan ng formula na to. So, of course, balik tayo dito sa power. If we have a power input, meron din tayong power output. So, output power natin o yung lumabas is equal to weight times speed ng load. Okay, so... Uh, I think this is the last slide. Yun, okay. So this is the last slide for the formula and we're going to answer the problem solving. So let us start. So the question is looking for and what is the friction angle of a power screw setup having a thread friction of uh, 0 0.2? So way back on the slides earlier, so the, the question is looking for the friction angle and we all know that the friction angle is uh, tangent beta is equal to friction and in, in order to get this beta we need to arc tangent this so make friction ba tayong given so that was 0.2 so this is a simple substitution arc tangent of 0.2 is equal to so get your calculator guys so that was 11.31 degrees. So the answer is 11.31 degrees. So the answer is letter D. Okay, so what is the lead angle? So second question tayo. So what is, what is the lead angle of a double threaded square thread? Double threaded square thread with an outside diameter of 3 inches and TPI of 9 over so the question is looking for the lead angle and we all know that lead angle is tangent lambda is equal to lead over pi dm. So in order for us to, pour, to get this lambda, we need to get the arctan of this L over pi dm. So isa-isahin natin sa L muna tayo for the lead. So since the question stated that it is double threaded, sinabi ko kanina na it should be n times the pitch. So, ibig sabihin ko kung single threaded, one times pitch, kapag double threaded, two times pitch, triple threaded, three times pitch, and so on and so forth. So, since this is a double threaded, so this is two times pitch, and wala pa tayong pitch, but meron tayong binanggit na TPI of 9 over 2, and we all know that TPI way back on our bolt discussion, that was equivalent to the reciprocal of pitch and that will become 1 over 9 over 2 or 1 over 4.5 kasi 4.5 to. So that will become 2 over 9. Gawin na lang natin fraction. So that will become 2 times 2 over 9. So that will become 4 over 9. So meron tayong lead. So we're going to get this mean diameter na lang. So mean diameter. So what is our mean diameter? Okay, so way back kanina, kanina sa profile review, we will know that dm is equal to outside diameter minus h. So meron ba tayong outside diameter? So sabi, ang outside diameter daw natin is, uh, so medyo malaki yung line. Ayan. So ang outside diameter daw natin is 3 inches. So that will become 3 inches. And how about the h? So kanina sa tatlong type ng thread, meron tayong tatlo doon. Ang unang-una doon is your seller square thread or yung tulis niya ay hugis square. And nakalagay sa formula doon that the tooth depth or the height or the H rather is equal to 7 over 16 ng pitch. So ang 7 over 16, so the pitch, ano ba yung pitch kanina? So the pitch is, ayan, 2 over 9. So parang di tayo malito. Tama ba? TP. So, gawin natin, ano to? Medyo nakakalito nga to. Kama. So, this is pitch. Ayan. Kasi nga ni reciprocal natin. So, ayan. So, our pitch is 2 over 9. So, it will be multiplied on this. So, our DM will become 7 times 2, divide 16, divide 9, 3 inches minus yun. So, that was 2.5. 9028. So, our DM is 
All oh, right, yan na pala yung DM. So, we're going to get the lambda. So, it will become arctangent of the lead. So, that was 4 over 9 divided by pi times 2.9028. So, the answer is 4 over 9 sa taas, pi sa ilalim. Multiply mo yung pi sa answer kanina, which is 2.9028. And get the arc tan. So, the, the lambda is 2.79 degrees. So, parehas ba tayo, guys, ng sagot? So, meron ba sa choices nito? So, ayun, letter A. The answer is letter A, 2.9. 79 degrees. So, ayan. Three questions, no? Sa isang slide. So, the third question is, what is the outside diameter of a square threaded, uli, square threaded screw having a root diameter of 44.45 mm with a pitch of 4 mm? So, mahalaga bawat formula na binabanggit ko. So, way back on the profile again na slide kanina, we all know that the mean diameter is equal to outside diameter minus tooth depth, but it is also equivalent to root diameter plus the tooth depth. So kapag pinag-equate mo tong dalawa, since it is also equivalent to, to this mean diameter, so the outside diameter is equal to root diameter plus twice nung tooth depth. And since the root diameter is given, so that was 44 per 0.45 mm, Part 4, 4, 4, 5, so nakakabulol. No? So, the root diameter is 44.45 mm plus twice ng uh, tooth depth, which is unknown. Pero good thing is we have this pitch of 4 mm. And we all know na mahalaga lagi basahin mo kung anong uri ng thread to, if it is square or trapezoidal or buttress, kasi kukunin mo dyan yung tooth depth, which is equal to 7 over 16 times pitch. So, rekta na natin dito. Ah, sige na, ikunin na natin ang bukod to. So, that was 7 over 16 times 4. So, that was 1.75 mm. So, it will be 44.45 plus twice ng 1.75 mm. And the answer is 47.95 mm. So, the answer is... Ayan. Letter B, 47.95 mm. Okay, nakatotlo agad tayong item for the first slide pa lang ng questions. So, medyo marami pa to. Okay, so we have this uh, number 4, a 2.5 inches single threaded square screw as a TPI of 4 and coefficient of friction of 0 0.2. So, what is the efficiency? So, pag sinabing uh, what is the efficiency and hindi sinabi kung ano efficiency kasi dalawa yan, way back on our review formula, merong screw alone and screw and collar. So, just get the screw alone, lalong-lalo na kung wala na namang collar details dito. So, our efficiency for that is equal to that was uh, TO over TR and that is equivalent to tangent uh, lambda over tangent sum of beta plus lambda. So madali lang ito. We're going to find lang what is lambda and what is beta. In order to get the lambda, we all know that the tangent lambda is equal to L over phi dm. So Hanapin muna natin si L and si mean diameter. So, our lead is equal to, ang sabi single threaded, so that was equivalent to 1 times pitch, so that was single pitch only. Ang problema, wala rin tayong pitch. Pero good thing, we have this TPI of 4. TPI, we all know that TPI is the reciprocal of pitch. So, TPI is 4, is equal to 1 over pitch. So that pitch is one fourth or 0 0.25 inches. So solve na si uh, lead natin. We're going to ask na lang for the mean diameter. 
So, meron bang mean diameter na given? Wala. So, kapag ganito guys, pag sinabing a 3 inches single threaded, a 4 inches single threaded, a 2.5 inches, ang ibig sabihin niyan, that was the outside diameter. So, meron tayong given outside diameter of 2.5 inches. And we all know that mean diameter is also equivalent to DO minus H. So, our outside diameter is 2.5 inches as stated in the problem minus so, again, mahalaga kung anong uri ng screw ang tinatanong kasi nakadepende dyan lagi yung tooth depth. So, our H is 4 square screw. So, lagay na natin. H is 7 over 16 pitch. Basta is square screw. So, that will be equivalent to 7 over 16 times the pitch. So, ang pitch natin is 0.25. Yan. So, ayan. Meron na tayong DM which is equivalent to 7 divided 16 times 0 0.25. 2.5 minus answer. So, that will be 2.39. So, buuin na natin. 2.329 inches or 2.39 will do. Gusto ko lang kompleto kasi walang sobrang decimal na marami sa dulo eh. So, ayan. So, we're going to acquire this lambda. Kasi kompleto na yung lead natin and DM. So, that will be equivalent to... I-arc tan na natin agad, guys. Ah. So, that will become... Arc tan times lead. So, that was 0.25 pi DM. Ayan. So, parang hindi kayo malito. Lagyan natin parenthesis. So, ang ating lambda is... 0.25 divided by pi. Plus times mo yung pi sa answer mo kanina which is 2.390625 and get the R tangent. So the lambda is 1.9065 degrees. So okay na tayo sa lambda. So hinanap na lang natin is beta. And we all know that the tangent of beta is equal to friction angle. So, beta will be equal to arc tangent ng friction angle. Oops. Baka lain yung exponent. Ayan. And meron ba tayong friction coefficient? So, meron tayo sa dulo. Na given. Hanyin ko lang. Napala yung mga lines natin. So, we have this coefficient of friction of 0.2. So, big sabihin, our beta is the arc tangent of 0.2. So, the beta is, alam ko, 11. 0.31 ito pag 0.3. More normal kasi yung 0.2 sa ano, yung mga problem solving sa board set, sa mga samples ng book. So, again, tama nga. So, the beta is 11.31 degrees. So, we can get this efficiency uh, immediately. So, our efficiency is tangent ng lambda. So, that was 1.9 uh, 0.65 degrees. Uh, one thing, guys, na maaaring pumasok sa isip nyo ngayon is bakit ko pa kailangan kunin si lambda e equal naman si tangent lambda tun sa L over pi dm. Why not doon ko i-rectang ipasok? Maari naman, pero guys, be reminded that meron pa tayong beta plus lambda sa iba ba. So, magtatagal lang tayo sa pagpindot. So, beta plus L over pi dm pa. So, haba pa sa calcium mo. So, mas mainam na rin malaman mo kung anong value talaga ng lambda. So, that was equivalent to yung denominator. So, that was the tangent of the sum of beta plus lambda. So, our beta is 11.31 degrees plus 1.9065 degrees sa ilalim. So, the efficiency is tangent ng 1.9065, tangent 11.31, tama ba? Plus 1.9065. So, the efficiency is 0 0.1417. Of course, it will be multiplied to 100%. So, that was, of course, 14.17%. So, the answer is, meron ba sa choices? Ayan. The answer is letter B. 14.17%. So, ayan. Tapos na tayo sa number 4. So, number 5 naman tayo.
what is the frictional horsepower or HP acting on a collar loaded with 140 kilograms weight? The collar has an outside diameter of 100 mm and an internal diameter of 40 mm. The collar rotates 900 rpm and the coefficient of friction between the collar and the surface is 0 0.13. So the number five question is looking for the frictional horsepower acting on a collar. So, ibig sabihin ng frictional horsepower, siyempre, involve yung power na naman dyan. And, of course, involve na naman dyan si torque at involve na naman dyan si speed divided by, by some constant. And, look at the given, mm lahat or in kilograms, so that was metric. Ibig sabihin, ng constant natin dito is 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. So, magkakaroon ka raw ng power in kilowatts Basta ang torque natin dito is in Newton mm and the speed will be in RPM. So we need to get the torque in Newton mm and in RPM yung speed na n para mag-acquire tayo ng power in kilowatt. So paulit-ulit ko na itong binambagget sa mga previous topics natin. Okay, so kung first time mo lang makarinig, so alam mo na yung formula na yan. So that was the derived formula para maka-acquire ka ng power or kung ano ba mga hinahanap dyan. Pero bago tayo pumunta sa mga yan, ano muna bang torque ang hinahanap? Kung napapansin mo, walang binigay na screw, kundi yung collar lang. So ang sabi, the collar, sabi, sabi nga diba, what is the frictional horsepower acting on a collar loaded with 140 kilograms weight? The collar has an outside of 100 and so on and so forth. So, of course, bida rito si collar. Ang hinahanap natin, of course, is yung torque ng collar. And we all know that the torque of the collar is WDC, hindi WDM, kasi collar ang binabanggit dito. So that, uh, so that was WDC over 2 times FC, which is the coefficient of friction between the collar and the surface. So isa isahin natin kung may mga ganito ba. So unay mo natin si W. So, ang weight natin is loaded with 140 kilograms. And since this is a Newton mm ang kailangan para mag-arrive tayo sa kilowatts, sa power, so it should be uh, converted to Newton. So, para makonvert siya sa Newton, so that was 140 kilograms times, of course, 9.81 meters per second squared or gravity. So that will become, para sa mga nalilito, ah, we all know that weight is equal to mass times gravity. And we need to convert this kilogram into newtons kasi naka-newtons yung torque dito. So that was 140 times 9.81. So 1373.4 newtons. So this is 1373.4 newtons times DC. So, meron ba tayong diameter ng collar? Ang sabi dito, the collar has an outside diameter of uh, outside collar diameter of 100 mm sabi and an internal diameter of 40 mm sabi, ang internal niya raw is 40 mm. So, kung inanap natin si DC dito Ano ang kailangan natin gamitin dyan sa dalawang yan? Guys, remember that in every formula of the torque, kahit raise the load ba man yan, or lower the load, or overcome the friction, di ba laging bida doon is mean diameter. So, ibig sabihin kapag usapan collar, mean diameter din kukunin mo, or yung average ng outside and inside. Walang problema kung ang given lang is outside na 100. So, salpak mo na lang agad dito 100. Ang problema kasi may internal diameter ka pa na 40 mm. So, kung mean diameter lagi ang bida sa mga torque, of course, sa usapang collar torque din, it should be the average or the mean of these two diameters. So, 100 plus 40. So, lagi natin DCM. 100 plus 40 divided by 2, so that was 140 over 2, so that was 70 mm. So times lang daw natin ito sa so 70 mm. So times FC, so ang FC natin, ang nag-iisang friction coefficient na given is 0.13. So 
So all of this will be multiplied and then will be divided into two. So our unit is Newton mm kasi si Fc is unitless. So that was 1373.4 times 70 times 0.13 divided 2. So that was 6248.97 Newton mm. And syempre hindi doon natatapos. Meron na tayong TC in Newton mm. Kailangan lang natin ng speed on RPM. And sabi dito, the collar rotates at 900 RPM. Meaning, pwede na tayong mag-direct sub lahat para makakuha tayo ng power in kilowatts. So that is 6248.97 Newton mm times 900 RPM. All of this will be divided by 9. 0.549 times 10 raised to 6 and it is equivalent to times mo sa 900 yung answer mo kanina na 6248.97 na torque divided by 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 so that was point fip, I, uh, point 0.589 kilowatts so, mer so that is also equivalent to 0. 0.6 so may sagot ba dyan? Merong 0.6. But the choices is in horsepower. So ingat kayo dyan guys. Uh, kung okay taga kayo sa review or praktisado kayo. Pero suddenly napalabas mo yung 0.589 or 0.6 kilowatt pag niround up. Kaso sobrang excited mo. Hindi mo napansin. Horsepower pala yung choices. So beware on the choices. So it should be converted first to horsepower before we arrive on the final answer. So, 0.589 kilowatts. And we all know that in every one horsepower, there is 0 0.746 kilowatt. So, the final answer is, divide mo yung 0.589 sa 0.746. So, that was 0.789 horsepower or rounded up 0.8 force power. And the answer is 0.8 uh, horsepower. So palitan natin itong medyo sulat ko pangit. So that is equivalent almost to 0.8 horsepower and the answer is then letter C. Yun na, ingat kayo guys. Kasi pag niround up mo to, it is also equivalent to 0.6 kilowatts. At my 0.6 do na figure, but in choices is in horsepower. So that was our second to the last question. So this is the last question. So medyo mahaba. Magandang finale ito. A single square threaded power screw is to raise a load of 90 kilonewton. The screw has a major diameter of uh, 36 mm and a pitch of 6 mm. The coefficient of thread friction and collar friction are 0 0.13, 0 0.10 respectively. If the collar mean diameter is 90 mm and the screw turns at 60 rpm, find the combined efficiency of screw collar. So, ito specifically sinabi, find the combined efficiency of screw and collar. Dalawa lang naman yan, it's either the screw alone or the combined of or combination of screw and collar. So, that was represented by EK is equal to TO over T total is equal also to TO over sum of TR plus TC times 100%. So, iisa-isa yung talaga natin kunin yung tatlong torque na yan in order for us to arrive for this EK. So, unahin na natin si TO and we all know that TO is the torque needed to raise the screw alone. No, tama, tama. The ratio. So that was equivalent to WDM over 2 times tangent lambda only. Kasi ito yung torque that needed to raise the load without yung tulong ng threaded friction. Kasi ang TR natin lagi, ang bida dyan is ano eh. Ta. No, madali tayong matapos, no? Konting review lang. No? Medyo madaldal talaga si Engineer HB. Pero nakakatulong naman na sana. So, kung TR yan, 
may beta plus lambda pero nga this since this is a torque no na hindi kailangan ng thread friction so it is zero so that's why ang formula niya is tangent lambda only so wdm over 2 times tangent lambda so isa isa natin so saan makikita si weight so a single square threaded power screw is to raise a load of 90 kN meaning ang weight natin is 90 kN times mean diameter so may mean diameter ba tayo rito so ang sabi major diameter of 36 mm so that was outside diameter also and pitch of 6 mm so in order for us to get this mean diameter meron tayong formula di ba kanina pa na mean diameter is equal also to do minus h so meron tayong do wala man tayong h but remember that this is a single square threaded so meaning it is also equivalent to do or outside diameter minus 7 over 16 times pitch because that's the formula for seller square threaded so substitute substitute na natin so that was 36 minus 7 over 16 times 6 so the answer is 42 divided 16, 36 minus answer. So the answer is 33.375 mm. So meron na tayong DM. Meron na tayong weight. So, ayan. Mm. So guys, hindi na ako mag-convert ng Newton meter, Newton mm kasi... Pwede na natin kunin torque lahat na ito in kilonewton mm kasi maka-cancel din naman lahat yan dito because it is additive on both sides of numerator and denominator. So okay lang yan, kilonewton mm na lang tayo. So of course, it is divided by 2. So ang kulang na lang natin is yung lambda. So that was the tangent lambda. So what is this lambda? So saan natin kukunin si lambda? Okay, so we all know that, that the tangent lambda is equal to uh, lead over pi dm. So meron na tayong dm which is 33.375. Ang problema na lang natin is si lead. And we all know that si lead is equal to number of thread times the pitch. And since this is a single square threaded, so that was one times pitch or singular pitch. So ang pitch natin kanina is 6 mm. So that will become direct substitution 6 over pi times 33.375. Ayan. So our lambda here is 6 over pi times 33.375 sa ilalim. 375. So the lambda is 3.275 degrees 3.275 degrees so it should be 3.275 degrees so ang TO natin is equivalent to 90 times 33.375 divided to times tangent ng 3.275 degrees so that is equivalent to 85 0.94 kilonewton mm. So, ayan, meron na tayong TO. So, of course, check na natin to. Check. So, TR plus TC na lang tayo. And we all know that TR is equivalent to WDM over 2 times uh, tangent beta plus gamma. So, meron tayong WDM over 2 kanina na rito. So, ito yun. So, meron na rin tayong lead angle, which is 3.275 degrees. So, kailangan na lang natin si beta. And we all know that beta is just the arc tangent of the threaded uh, coefficient of friction. So, meron ba tayong B even dito? Ito. So, the coefficient of thread friction is 0.13. Ito namang color friction, mamaya natin malalaman niya. So, this is 0.10 para sa color friction. Kasi sabi respectively. So, naunang sinabi si uh, thread friction. So, ito yon That was the F. 
So that was arc tangent of point 13. So ang beta natin is yun na lang natin lagay yung sagot. So ang beta natin is the arc tangent of point 13 so that was 7.41 degrees. That was 7.4069. Ni round up ko na lang. So our TR will be 90. So same lang dito. Times 33.375 divided by 2 times tangent beta plus lambda. So the TR is 90 times 33.375 divided by 2 times tangent of 7.41 plus 3.275 degrees. So the answer is 283.38 or 375 na lang kilonewton mm. So check CTR. Meron tayo dito. Ayan. At ayan, CTO. So we're going to acquire this TC na lang. So our TC... So, meron tayong sample ganyan ng TC, which is equivalent to WDC over 2 times FC. So, we're going to look for DC na lang kasi may W na tayong given. So, ang DC natin is, ang sabi, if the collar mean diameter. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, guys, sa, ibang, sa nakarang problem na involved to. It should be the collar mean diameter. Pero since isa lang given, which is the 90 mm, so, yan na yun. So, that was equivalent to 90 for W times DC, which is 90 mm, divide 2. Pag malilito na 90 parehas kasi 90 rin itong diameter and 90 rin itong load. So times FC. So kanina may sinabing respectively, which is 0.10 for color friction. So that was 0.10. So 90 times 90 divide 2 times 0.10. So that was 405 kilonewton mm. So kung napansin nyo guys, mayroon naman silang common factor which is the W tsaka yung D, di yung diameter sana. Kaso ang problema, D si itong isa. So hindi natin pwedeng i-cancel basta yung diameter. So ang pwede lang natin cancel is yung W tsaka 2 kasi sila yung common sa pare-parehas. Pero ginawa ko na lang di isa-isa in order for us to appreciate the value of each torque that we're going to use on the final computation of combined efficiency of screw and collar. So since kompleto na tayo, we have this TO, we have this TR, and we have this TC, which is 4 of 5. So salpak na natin. So, so ginawa ko na lang din kilonewton mm lahat. So that was equivalent to uh, EK is equal to TO, and TO natin is 85. 0.94 all over TR which is 283.375 plus 405 para sa TC. And of course, yung result niyan is times mo sa 100%. So our coefficient of friction is equivalent to 85.94 over 283.375 plus 405. So that was 0 0.1248 times 100%. Of course, that will be equivalent to 12.48%. So medyo bugbugan itong last item, no? Pero since this is a board exam problem, pwede mo rin naman i-looks pa basta yung given, di nag-iba. Pero kapag nag-iba, yari ka kapag hindi mo sinundan yung solution ko. So the answer is 12.48. So that was approximately equal to 12.5 which is nasa letter A. Okay. So, ayun lang guys. Nakapag-review na tayo ng formula for the power screw at nakapagsagot pa tayo ng six items na may different agenda or different na hinahanap, which is, of course, may different solutions then So, ayun lang. Kapag may tanong, just PM me on the Facebook page that is attached on the comment section. Pwede ka rin naman mag-comment diretso sa comment section ng tanong mo kung may concern ka. And ayun, salamat sa pagsama sa akin.
sa pagre-review nito yung guys and I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo kahit paano. No? So meron tayong nalalapit na 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4. So almost 4 months bago mag-board exam sa February 2022. So if nagre-review ka ngayon, so good luck sa iyo. And if estudyante ka naman, so good luck pa rin. So ayun lang, thank you guys and God bless. See you again on the next chapter. Bye-bye.